Have you ever found yourself surrounded by people yet feeling utterly alone? Do the echoes of silence in your life sometimes become too loud to bear? Loneliness can be a formidable adversary, but fear not. For today, we embark on a journey inspired by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Join me as we explore 10 surefire ways to overcome loneliness and cultivate a resilient spirit. If you are new here, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Let's begin. One, the power of perspective. Let's dive into the profound world of Stoicism, where the legendary Seneca once pondered, what need is there to weep over parts of life? The whole of it calls for tears. To break free from the shackles of loneliness, our journey begins with a radical shift in perspective Instead of getting bogged down by isolated moments, let's embark on a thrilling exploration of life. Picture it as a captivating novel, with each chapter, every emotion, contributing to the rich narrative of our unique story. Imagine this. Life is an intricate mosaic, composed of countless vibrant pieces, each representing a moment, an experience, a feeling. Loneliness often creeps in when we focus on a single tile, losing sight of the breathtaking masterpiece unfolding before us. Seneca's wisdom nudges us to widen our lens, to appreciate the entirety of our existence. Consider those moments when solitude seems overwhelming, a missed opportunity, a heartbreak, or a fleeting sense of disconnection. Now, imagine zooming out, viewing these instances not as isolated woes, but as essential brushstrokes painting the canvas of our life. Suddenly, the power to shape our narrative, to infuse it with resilience and purpose, lies within our grasp. Every emotion, whether joyous or sorrowful, contributes to the symphony of our existence. It's not about avoiding tears or suppressing emotions. It's about acknowledging them as integral notes in our life's melody. Loneliness loses its grip when we understand that even the seemingly discordant tones play a crucial role in composing our unique song. As we stand at the intersection of past, present and future, let's appreciate the beauty of the journey. Each twist and turn, every peak and valley, contributes to the masterpiece that is our life. Seneca's timeless question invites us to rethink our response to the narrative, to embrace the totality of our experiences, and to recognize that, indeed, the whole of life calls for our attention. So, my fellow explorers of existence, let's adopt the stoic art of perspective shifting. Let's revel in the richness of our narrative, finding solace in the fact that every tear, every laughter, is a brushstroke adding depth to the canvas of our extraordinary lives. As Seneca beckons, let's not weep over parts. Instead, let's marvel at the grandeur of the whole. In this newfound perspective lies the antidote to loneliness and the key to a life fully lived. 2. Embracing the Now in the realm of wisdom passed down through the ages, the Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius offers a nugget that resonates profoundly in our hustle and bustle. Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. These words beckon us to a timeless truth, an antidote to the modern ailment of loneliness. Picture this. In the midst of our fast-paced lives, we often find ourselves yearning for connection, for meaning. Marcus Aurelius urges us to embrace the now, to discover the richness that exists in each moment. In the quest to conquer loneliness, the first step is to learn the art of presence. It's about cherishing the moments as they unfold, finding joy in the simplicity that surrounds us. Imagine a quiet evening, the gentle hum of nature, the warmth of a cozy blanket, and the pages of a good book. These are the building blocks of a happy life, 
not grand gestures or extravagant events, but the small, often overlooked details that compose the melody of our existence. To truly overcome loneliness, we must savor the beauty in simplicity. It's in the laughter shared with a friend, the aroma of morning coffee, and the feeling of sunlight on your face. These seemingly mundane moments, when observed with an open heart, become the brush strokes that paint the canvas of a fulfilled life. Yet, embracing the now goes beyond external circumstances. It's about finding joy in your own company, relishing the moments of solitude as opportunities for self-discovery. True happiness, as Marcus Aurelius suggests, begins within. It's a journey inward, a pilgrimage to understand and appreciate the unique melody of your own soul. In a world buzzing with distractions, cultivating the art of being present becomes a revolutionary act. It's a rebellion against the constant pull of the past and the future. It's an invitation to dance with the now, to find contentment in the rhythm of the present moment. So, as you navigate the ebb and flow of life, remember the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Embrace the now, savor the simplicity, and discover the profound joy that resides within yourself. In this dance with the present, loneliness fades, replaced by a deep connection to the symphony of life. If you found this insight inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. It's a journey worth taking, a path that leads to a truly happy and fulfilled existence. Three, Stoic Mindfulness. Step into the world of Stoic Mindfulness, where the art of handling loneliness becomes a powerful skill. Imagine this, you're sitting alone and that feeling of isolation starts knocking on your door. Now here's the secret. It's not about avoiding loneliness. It's about how you open that door. Loneliness is like an unexpected visitor and you get to decide the hospitality it receives. It's not about shooing it away. It's about inviting it in for a mindful chat. Picture this scenario, the quiet moments, the stillness, and you fully present in that space. Stoicism teaches us that loneliness is not the enemy. It's an opportunity. It's a chance to turn inward and embrace a mindful awareness of your thoughts. Now, let's break it down in everyday terms. You're not fighting loneliness. You're engaging in a conversation with it. What are those thoughts that come knocking when you're alone? Are they whispers of self-doubt, echoes of past regrets, or the gentle hum of self-reflection? Stoic mindfulness is about observing these thoughts without judgment. It's like being your own detective, unraveling the mysteries of your mind. Why does loneliness feel heavy sometimes, and why does it lift at other times? The answers lie in the quiet recesses of your consciousness. As you sit with these thoughts, you'll discover a peculiar strength. It's the power to navigate solitude with grace, to turn a seemingly lonely moment into a profound connection with yourself. Stoicism tells us that the mind is our greatest asset, and in the face of loneliness, it becomes our sanctuary. So the next time loneliness knocks, don't be in a rush to slam the door. Instead, welcome it in. Sit with it. Ask it questions. What can it teach you about yourself? What hidden strengths does it reveal? Loneliness becomes not a burden, but a companion on the journey of self-discovery. In the realm of stoic mindfulness, solitude transforms from a feared adversary to a trusted ally. It's a shift in perspective that turns the ordinary moments of being alone into extraordinary opportunities for personal growth. Embrace the solitude, my friend, and let stoic mindfulness guide you to a richer, more profound understanding of yourself. After all, in the quiet spaces, you might just find the loudest echoes of your own resilience and wisdom. Four, 
building resilience. Transcend fear and build resilience. Embrace challenges, for in overcoming them, you forge a resilient spirit capable of withstanding the pangs of loneliness. Fear, the silent architect of self-doubt, often casts a long shadow over our aspirations. But what if we could transcend that fear and emerge stronger on the other side? Picture this, a journey where challenges become our allies, molding us into resilient beings capable of weathering the storm. Imagine facing a fear head-on, like stepping onto a stage for the first time, heart pounding, palms sweaty. That initial fear, the knot in your stomach, is like the first brush stroke on the canvas of resilience. Embracing challenges is the key. It's the courage to take that first step onto the uncertain path, knowing that growth lies beyond the fear. In the realm of resilience, there's an unwritten rule. Every challenge you conquer adds a layer of strength to your spirit. It's not about avoiding loneliness or hardship, but about turning them into transformative experiences. Just like a blacksmith forging steel, overcoming challenges forges a resilient spirit that can withstand the pangs of loneliness. Think of resilience as a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. It's not about avoiding challenges, but about navigating through them, learning from the journey, and emerging on the other side with newfound strength. Consider the tale of the butterfly. It doesn't escape the cocoon effortlessly. It struggles, pushing against the walls until it transforms. Embracing challenges is your cocoon, and resilience is the beautiful transformation that follows. So, let's make resilience a daily practice. Take small steps, face your fears, and see each challenge as an opportunity for growth. Remember, every stumble is a lesson, and every triumph is a testament to your resilience. As we navigate the labyrinth of life, Let's embrace challenges not as obstacles, but as invitations to become stronger, wiser and more resilient. It's a journey where fear becomes a companion and challenges the catalysts for our evolution. In conclusion, building resilience is not a destination but a continuous journey. It's about transcending fear, embracing challenges and emerging on the other side with a spirit unbroken. So, my fellow journeyers, let's embark on this adventure together, weaving resilience into the fabric of our lives, one challenge at a time. The canvas is vast and the colors are ours to choose. If you found this insight inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Five, virtue as a guide. In the vast expanse of our existence, the Stoic philosophy offers a compass, a set of virtues that illuminate our path and make the journey of life more meaningful. Let's delve into the essence of these virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, and discover how they become our trusted guides, enriching our connections and dispelling the shadows of isolation. Wisdom. Imagine wisdom as a lantern casting light on the intricate maze of life. It's not about memorizing facts or flaunting intelligence. It's the art of navigating decisions with clarity. In the Stoic wisdom, we find the threads of experience, reflection, and the humility to acknowledge that there's always more to learn. It's the light that brightens the darkest corners of uncertainty, allowing us to make choices aligned with our true selves. Courage. Picture courage as a sturdy bridge that spans the gaps of fear and doubt. It's not the absence of these emotions, but the resilience to face them head on. Stoic courage is the bravery to confront challenges, knowing that growth lies on the other side. It's the audacity to step out of our comfort zones, to embrace discomfort as the forge of our strength. 
With courage as our companion, we traverse the unpredictable terrains of life with confidence and conviction. Justice. Envision justice as the compass that keeps us true to our moral bearings. It's not merely a legal concept, but a moral guidepost. Stoic justice urges us to treat others with fairness, empathy, and kindness. It's the recognition that our actions reverberate through the interconnected web of humanity. By embodying justice, we contribute to a world where every individual is acknowledged, respected, and treated with dignity. Temperance. See temperance as the harmonious rhythm that prevents the discord of excess. It's not about rigid self-control, but the balance that allows us to savor life's pleasures without being enslaved by them. Stoic temperance is the art of moderation, steering us away from the tumultuous waters of indulgence. It's the key to a life where desires are in harmony with reason, fostering a sense of peace and contentment. As we embrace these stoic virtues, they transform into guiding lights that lead us through the complexities of existence. They become our trusted companions, enriching our connections with others and dispelling the shadows of isolation. In a world that often feels overwhelming, the stoic virtues offer a roadmap, a simple yet profound guide to living a life that is purposeful, resilient and deeply fulfilling. So, let's embark on this journey together, guided by the light of wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, and discover the profound beauty of a life well lived. Six, the power of gratitude. Gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion, it's a game changer. It's about appreciating the good stuff, even the little things that often go unnoticed. Imagine waking up and feeling thankful for the warmth of sunlight streaming through your window or the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. It's like savoring the simple joys. Marcus Aurelius was onto something when he hinted at the power of gratitude. Ever have one of those days when everything seems to go wrong? Your alarm doesn't go off, you spill coffee on your favorite shirt and the day just seems to spiral downhill. That's where gratitude steps in like a superhero cape. Instead of dwelling on the mishaps, try focusing on what went right. Maybe a friend's smile, a kind word from a colleague, or the fact that you made it through the day in one piece. Gratitude is like a switch that turns your perspective from gloomy to bright. Think of gratitude as a muscle you can flex. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. It's not just about saying thank you, it's about feeling it deep within. When you start appreciating the positives, no matter how small, you become resilient. It's like having a shield that protects you from the negativity life throws your way. So. The next time you face loneliness or challenges, remember the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Be that solid rock, but also be grateful for the waves, for they teach you to stand strong. In a world that's constantly rushing, gratitude is your anchor. It keeps you grounded and helps you find beauty in the chaos. It's about embracing the present, finding joy in the ordinary, and building a reservoir of strength that you can tap into when life gets tough. So, my friend, let's take a cue from Marcus Aurelius and make gratitude a daily ritual. Be that unwavering rock, face the waves of life with a grateful heart, and watch how it transforms not just your days, but your entire journey. If you found this insight inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. After all, the power of gratitude is not just in saying thanks, it's in living thanks. Seven, cultivating inner strength. 
In the face of loneliness, the journey towards solace begins with the cultivation of inner strength. Let's delve into the wisdom of Epictetus, who encourages us with a timeless truth. We cannot be happy unless we imitate God. It's a call to embrace the divine essence within ourselves, acknowledging that the resilience to overcome loneliness rests in our very hands. Imagine this. Loneliness is like a storm, and your inner strength is the sturdy fortress that stands unyielding against its turbulent winds. Epictetus urges us to forge this inner citadel, a sanctuary that remains impervious to the storms of solitude. Let's break it down and see how cultivating inner strength becomes the key to conquering loneliness. Firstly, it's about recognizing the divine spark within. Think of it as tapping into a well of strength that resides deep within your being. It's the same strength that allows you to weather the storms of life, including the isolating moments of loneliness. By acknowledging this inner divinity, you're already on the path to building a foundation of resilience. Now let's talk about the actual cultivation process. It's not about a sudden transformation, but a gradual, intentional effort to nurture your inner strength. Picture it like tending to a garden. You plant seeds of self-compassion, water them with positive affirmations, and let the sunlight of self-awareness help them grow. This cultivation is an ongoing journey, a daily commitment to fortifying your inner citadel. As your inner strength grows, so does your ability to face loneliness head on. It becomes a shield against the emotional tempest, providing you with the resilience to navigate through those challenging moments. Loneliness may knock at the door, but with your inner fortress, you can choose whether to let it in or stand firm against its intrusion. In conclusion, the wisdom of Epictetus resonates through the ages, guiding us to recognize our divine nature and cultivate the inner strength needed to conquer loneliness. Picture yourself as the architect of your own fortress, building resilience one brick at a time. Embrace the journey, tend to your inner garden, and let the seeds of strength flourish. In doing so, you'll discover the profound joy that comes from imitating the divine within and standing strong in the face of loneliness. Eight, the art of letting go. In the pursuit of liberation from loneliness, we find ourselves at the crossroads of a profound truth, the art of letting go. It's a journey toward a freedom that transcends the boundaries of isolation, a liberation that beckons us to release the tight grip of attachments and embrace the vast expanse of our own existence. Picture this, life is like a captivating dance and at times we cling to partners that no longer serve our joyous rhythm. To truly revel in the dance, we must learn the delicate steps of letting go. It's about shedding the weight of expectations, the heavy cloak of seeking external validation, and allowing ourselves to waltz freely in the ballroom of our own authenticity. The first step in this dance of liberation is acknowledging the attachments that tether us to loneliness, Perhaps it's the fear of rejection, the need for constant approval, or the relentless pursuit of societal standards. These are the chains we must identify, the ties that bind us to the walls of isolation. As we take a closer look at the intricacies of the art of letting go, we uncover the hidden strength that resides within surrender. It's not about giving up, it's about releasing the grip of control and trusting in the flow of life. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff, ready to leap into the unknown. That leap is the embodiment of letting go, a courageous act of faith in the unseen possibilities that await. True freedom, the kind that washes away the pangs of loneliness, emerges when we dismantle the barriers erected by our own longing for external validation. 
We often find ourselves seeking approval from others, yearning for acknowledgement and applause. But what if, instead, we turned inward and applauded our own journey? What if we validated ourselves based on our growth, resilience and authenticity? The art of letting go invites us to rewrite the narratives that echo in our minds, replacing self-doubt with self-love. It's a process of unlearning the patterns of seeking external affirmation and relearning the language of inner validation. Picture a garden where the flowers of self-compassion bloom, each petal a testament to the beauty of embracing one's authentic self. In conclusion, as we master the art of letting go, we pave the way for a brighter, more connected existence. Letting go is not a one-time event. It's a continuous dance with life, a rhythmic exchange between releasing the old and welcoming the new. So, my fellow seekers of freedom, take a deep breath, step onto the dance floor of your own journey, and with each graceful release, feel the lightness that comes when you embrace the transformative power of letting go. Dine, connecting with humanity. In the vast expanse of life, there's a powerful connection waiting to be discovered. A connection that transcends borders and echoes the very essence of our existence. Seneca, the ancient philosopher, once painted a beautiful picture of this profound truth when he said, we are waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree, flowers of the same garden. Imagine for a moment the magic that happens when we truly grasp the depth of these words. It's like realizing that in this grand tapestry of humanity, we are not isolated entities, but interconnected threads weaving a shared story. Loneliness, that heavy burden we sometimes carry, begins to dissipate when we open our hearts to this realization. Picture yourself reaching out, not just with your hands, but with the empathy that flows from understanding our shared journey. It's about recognizing that the stranger passing by is not just a face in the crowd, but a fellow traveler navigating the same twists and turns of life. In the simplicity of a shared smile, a nod of acknowledgement, or a genuine conversation, we find the keys to unlock the doors of connection. It's understanding that the highs and lows, the victories and defeats, are universal chapters in the book of our shared humanity. We become waves dancing in harmony, leaves swaying in unison, and flowers blooming together in the vast garden of life. The beauty of connecting with humanity lies in its simplicity. It's about being present in the moment, extending a helping hand, and embracing the collective warmth that surrounds us all. As we forge these connections, we realize that our individual stories are but fragments of a larger, more intricate narrative. So in the midst of life's bustling crowd, take a moment to connect. Break free from the isolating cocoon of solitude and step into the vibrant dance of shared experiences. Let the wisdom of Seneca guide you we are indeed waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree, and flowers of the same garden. As you reach out, you'll find that the tapestry of humanity becomes richer, more colorful, and infinitely more meaningful. After all, in connecting with others, we discover a profound connection with ourselves. Ten. The Stoic Journey Dear fellow travelers on this incredible journey of Stoicism, let's dive a bit deeper into the art of overcoming loneliness. Picture this, life is a winding road, and conquering loneliness isn't a one-time achievement, but a lifelong expedition. So, buckle up as we explore the terrain of self-discovery and the secrets to a life filled with genuine fulfillment. As we navigate this journey, the first landmark we encounter is the pursuit of self-control. 
Think of self-control as your trusty compass, guiding you through the twists and turns of life's challenges. It's not about suppressing your emotions, but about mastering them. Embrace those waves of feelings, ride them with grace, and let self-control be the anchor that steadies your ship in the storm. Now, let's talk about fortitude, the sturdy boots you need for this journey. Life will throw rocks on your path, and fortitude is your ability to march on undeterred. Imagine it as a shield against the arrows of adversity. Fortitude isn't about avoiding challenges, it's about facing them head on, learning from the bruises and emerging stronger on the other side. But here's the secret source to conquering loneliness, the mastery of your inner world. Imagine your mind as a vast, unexplored landscape, and you, the brave adventurer. It's not about controlling the external world, but mastering your responses to it. Seneca once said, he who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. Similarly, he who fears the unknown within himself will never truly live a life of fulfillment. As we journey inward, strive to be the architect of your thoughts, the curator of your emotions. Grasp the paintbrush and color your inner canvas with empowering thoughts. Instead of dwelling on the negatives, focus on the positives. Practice gratitude for the small victories, celebrate the journey, and watch the hues of fulfillment paint your soul. So, my friends, let this journey be a reminder that overcoming loneliness is not just about reaching a destination, it's about relishing the beauty of the path learning from each step and realizing that fulfillment is found not in the absence of challenges but in the mastery of our response to them. As you embark on this lifelong expedition, remember, self-control is your compass, fortitude your sturdy boots and the mastery of your inner world, the key to unlocking a life of genuine fulfillment. So, let's continue this stoic journey together not as solitary wanderers, but as a community of seekers, supporting each other on this road less traveled. Here's to a life well lived, filled with purpose, connection, and the joy of the journey. May these stoic principles guide you on your path to overcoming loneliness and embracing the richness of your existence. Like and subscribe for more insights on mastering the art of living. Until next time, stay resilient, stay stoic, and thrive in the face of solitude.